Gosh, I thought I'd find you in here. Let me the jump. Yeah, sorry, I was just looking for other things that I can buy so I get a bag so I can put George's possible birthday present in my handbag and then have a bag for the things that I need to take out. Mm. <laughs> Got that one. Absolute. 18 euros 79. I think I'll have it. Right, I'm not going to show you around the whole ferry again this time. It's a basic ferry, pretty much like what we've shown you before. But how much is it? It's 198 euros. It's a two hour ferry ride and it's taken us from Gedster to Rostock. <laughs> is that satisfying, George? <laughs> See if somebody can help fix our toilet. So I popped into the reception and they sent one of the technicians out to help. What a lovely guy. Um, it just turned out the mechanism had just gone round on the ratchet a little bit. So he just forced it back, clicked it back. I put the old one back in and there was something wrong with the old cassette. So it was a bit of both really. The old cassette was broken and when I yanked it out, it broke the mechanism or moved the mechanism round in the ratchet. But now I've put the new cassette back in and he's moved that into position. It's working perfectly again. So I would love to thank them. These are the guys, Hans One Mobo. Lovely, lovely guy. Wouldn't take any payment for it. He just said, leave a good Google review, which Lindsay's doing right now. First stop off for fuel in Germany and it's 166 euros per litre. There you go, 128 euros and 10 cents, which is 112 pounds and 64 pence. Okay, we need more gas because we run out the other night. And we need to go and get the adapter again. It looks like the same one as last time. Adapter and my little extension. No, wrong adapter. The correct adapter. Ah, screws on. What a lava. One screw's one way, one screw's another way. There. We're refilled with gas again. Now that was 20 euros 39, which is 17 pounds and 93 pence. Now that is a little bit more uh, than I was expecting to pay. That's it. I used to pay maybe 60p a litre for gas. This is 109, so about a pound a litre for gas. Now I think it's been disappearing and maybe they're not making enough money on it, but I, I don't mind paying a little extra knowing I can get gas rather than them taking it out of everywhere. So I'd prefer, yeah, if they left the pumps in and just charge a little more for the LPG gas because it's a lot cheaper than Cowlitz still, isn't it? Okay, we have two possible stops in town on search for sites. And the first one, the closest one in to the centre, um, is completely full. We've just been turned away at that one. He's like, why you not call me? Why you not book in advance? But well, we don't book in advance. Oh, you should call ahead. You should probably call ahead on that one. He's absolutely right. If I'd have rung ahead, he may have reserved the space for me for tonight. So, okay, first one down. We're going to the second stop that we found on Search for Sites now. Otherwise, there's lots of park for nighters, um, which may not be suitable for our nine meter motorhome. And it's a bit of a city to be driving around in, let me tell you. Right, we failed at stop number two. I can't even seem to get in there. Um, but we're gonna use park for night tonight. We're gonna go to the Brandenburg Gate and see if we can park there. It's meant to be only for smaller vans, but let's give it a go. Okay, we found a bit of parking on the street at the Brandenburg Gate. It's meant to be a bit of a busy road, but it's not too bad right now. But what a location, right in the center of Berlin to park. I understand we're okay here, but I have had to put it up onto the curb uh, in order to, because we're quite wide, in order to bring it in a bit. So we're quite unlevel. So let's see how these bags level this out. level us out absolutely perfect how many people did you ask well i've asked three people and parking here is definitely free oh my god and this is bang in the center of berlin right by the gate so we'll leave a link in the description guys it might be a little noisy with the traffic but to be staying in this iconic location and to be so good place for tomorrow's walking tour we have got the most amazing amazing park up for this evening we're parked right by the Brandenburg Gate. We're gonna hear all about it tomorrow when we're on the walk-in tour, but just look at how beautiful it looks lit up this evening. 
It was Eddie's turn to choose where we ate, so he chose the Terrace Restaurant and Grill an award-winning kebab shop. Eddie's really excited because there's a plaque to say this was the favourite donor of 2020, uh, 2022. And I'm just looking up on the Wall of Fame and they've got Angela Merkel has been here at least three times that I've spotted and other German celebrities that I don't know. <laughs> but Angela I recognise. Happy George. Happy George. <laughs> How was that? Blimey, that was tasty. Very good. That was absolutely delicious. I think that was possibly, we did a little vote around the table, one of our best kebabs ever. Um, we love the German style. We've liked it since German Donner kebab moved to Milton Keynes. Um, it's a different kind of bread. It's not like soggy, sweaty pitter. It's, it's crispy and delicious. Very good. Come on, George. We've got to go. So there they come. And there's the gate there. And right next to us here, there's some toilets and we're parked just down the way over there. Good morning. This park up right here on the street in the middle of Berlin did us right last night. Sure there's a bit of traffic around but we were all right. I didn't wake up till about six o'clock so it did us really really well and it's free. So I'll put a link in the description guys if, uh, if you come into Berlin and you want a free park up by the side of the road in centre Berlin. Morning morning. Good morning. Where are we heading? We're heading to the start of our walking tour because this is one of my bucket list cities. I've been here before but I've not explored. So. It's actually where we first got together. It is, yes. And we were too busy working that time so we didn't get to explore. Right, the toilet that's nearby. Let's have a quick look at the facilities here. Okay, push button for free. And here we go. And we have sink and toilet. And it's even got tissue. There you go. I've seen quite a lot of these Varios that are still in use. Which are a very popular van for camper vans, I know. But yeah, they're clearly very old Varios still in use by the police here. What do you think the old Varios? That's really, really, really interesting. Because I just asked Steve if they're actually as old as they look or if they've, they're still making them that look like that. No, they are. How much is that? 9.50. For an Uber, it's only 8.10. Yes, but this is where the spies did all their stuff and we're here for the spy experience as well. Sure. Is that validating? First of all, I'm a bit disappointed it's not as dark and seedy as I expected it to be because that's what it is in my spy books. Also, if we get on the wrong train, it's fine because it's just our way of shaking our tails. I've gone and bought some kind of hot dog and cheese croissant for breakfast. Before we start the walking tour, we've had to come to Alexanderplatz because I don't think it's on the tour. And if you know anything about the Bourne movies, the Bourne supremacy, there were little bits of it filmed here. And every time I hear a European siren, it makes me think of those movies. It would help if we had cash to tip our free walking tour. We've forgotten, haven't we? <laughs> So we met with our guide to start our free walking tour. Okay, the walking tour is fantastic already. He has got so much information. I'm flabbergasted by the fact that we're starting here in Alexanderplatz, which during World War II was absolutely flattened. Over 80% of the buildings were demolished here in, the, in a blitz, like, like the London Blitz. Weird fact, this, um, this square is now half a metre higher than it would have been before the war because they had to build it on top of the rubble now that's the kind of information we're getting from this tour and I'm loving it. Here we've had a, a bit of a history lesson in why the origins of communism and communist gov governments aren't the same. Intention versus reality. There's quite a big conflict between them two. The grief of a sculptress who's lost her son in the First World War and then will go on to lose her second son in the second. Alex has brought us back to the Brandenburg Gate, which is where we first started our experience in Berlin. It's where he's finishing the tour. Throughout the tour, we have seen some incredible sites, some really interesting sites, some brand new sites and some old war sites, and even pre-war sites. We stopped off in the Museum Island, which is an island in the river with all the museums on. We saw the area where the books were burned at the very start of the Nazi period. From there, we've moved on to Checkpoint Charlie, um, 
where we had a little break. <laughs> we had a break in a muck flurry for the boys. From Checkpoint Charlie, we moved on to see the last remaining area of the wall. It was actually two walls and the area in between was known as the Death Strip. So that was a little bit of a moment. From the wall, we visited Hitler's bunker and the site where it was. Um, it's unmarked, there's very little there, just one board to explain it. It's kind of an anti-memorial, in fact, so they can't create pilgrims and we can't perpetuate his ideas. It's not somewhere to go and visit, but we did <laughs> and had a look. The second to last stop on the tour was the Holocaust Memorial, which was a really interesting and quite somber place. The positioning is the most important feature of this memorial. It can be seen from a lot of the embassies around here and also from where the German government sit and do their debates and run the country. Our final stop here is the Brandenburg Gate. The, the lady on the top was a symbol of peace, she's now a symbol of victory and that's an interesting story and you should come to Berlin and hear these stories firsthand for yourself. It's been a fascinating and beautiful and amazing walk. I've loved every moment of this day. Our tour guide was Alex, he knows so much. He's actually from Reading, he's not from Berlin originally but he knows so much. He was with Walkative Talks. I booked it through Guru, through the app and I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to come and see him or in fact any of the tours here in Berlin. There are so many to choose from. I want to do the street art tour and I want to do the one that's focused purely on Nazism as well. I think that'd be interesting. We'll have to come back love. I think Berlin has topped my new chart of most fascinating cities that I need to come back to. Lisbon I think was at the top. It's like choosing a favourite child isn't your favourite city, but I really want to come back. I can't wait. What an awesome, awesome day we've had in Berlin. Yeah. I really, really like Berlin. I could come back and spend a week here. You know? Interestingly, the boys have all uh, given us really positive feedback. Usually we drag them around on right. these walking tours and it's to please me. Yeah. Um, and they've all got lots from this. Let's so. But where we're heading now, they don't know. As another treat for George's birthday, we're going to the big indoor tropical islands water park and they have no idea. No idea. I was hoping we weren't going to be blocked in, but we're all right. I've got yeah. enough room to get out here. But it's been awesome. Just jumped up on the curb and still being nice and level. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> in you go, girl. <laughs> I'm keeping your gorgeous blue leggings. You match the Aldi logo. <laughs> You just realise what? George needs a birthday cake. <laughs> we'll find something in here. Yeah. I think the strawberry tart is going to be George's favourite. Perfect. And we can hide it in the freezer until tomorrow. Perfect. We don't shop in Aldi. Like, I know when we go to Lidl, I know what we're getting and where we're getting it. So we've had... <laughs> I've impulse bought quite a few things. Oh, and it's starting to rain as well. Lovely. <laughs> but, yes. Yeah. We've impulse bought quite a lot. Um, this George's birthday tomorrow. Exactly. And it all looked exciting, so huh. it'd be fine. What's that? This is tropical islands, George. Why is there a big guy? Because it's one of the largest indoor water parks in the world. Oh, that's pretty cool, you know. <laughs> Look at that. And we're going here for your birthday. Return. All right. <laughs> there we go. No, it's the largest self-supporting dome, aerodrome, I think, next one, in the world. When are we going in? Tomorrow. Because if it's your birthday and you're a kid, you're getting free. Right, we've been here for a few hours. Lindsay's knocked up to a lovely dinner. And I've popped in there to see what the score is for tomorrow. And we can go in from eight o'clock in the morning um, and the boys can stay in there till nearly midnight. So we're certainly going to try and get our money's worth tomorrow. It looks an awesome place, I've got to say. Uh, boys are kicking back in the, in the back watching a movie and we've got a little bit more YouTube on. And I thought I'd share with you who is one of our favourite YouTubers, right? Um, Johnny Harris. He is a journalist, he used to work for Vox, and he makes the best storytelling videos. So if you don't know who Johnny Harris is, um, I'll leave a link in the description if you remember Linz. Go and check him out. Some of my favorite videos are by Johnny Harris. <gasps> bathtub man. 
You see mum thought ahead with the wrapping paper. You shouldn't, so oh, that's Ray Bans. <laughs> Harry, you can have one or two. Thank you, Mum and Dad. And You're welcome, buddy. Right, it's early. It's eight o'clock and it opens at eight and George is really excited. So we're all heading over there now. Now, I can't take cameras and film much in there. I will take a little action camera and see if I can film anything for you. Yes. And it's actually 8.15, so his head's about to explode. <laughs> Come on. It's a huge, huge car park here and there's plenty of room for many, many motorhomes. Look at this place. We've got some very excited boys here. Right, well that's us in. George was free because it's his birthday. We've got the two boys uh, reduced because they're students and full price for Lindsay and I. But it was still 183 euros. But we're going to have a great day for that, George, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, let's do this. This place looks amazing. German's got this on beds already. Wow. Where's the flamingos? Uh, right at the bottom. Oh, missed them. Yeah. Oh, check out these hotel rooms. Better look out, There's spiders and all kinds here. Oh. You're having too rough. No, they're not too rough, so they've got long necks, so they're not quite dry. Okay, we've had a great morning in there. You've enjoyed yourself, Georgie? Mm -hmm. uh, but we've come back out for lunch. Because I bought a bottle of water in there, and it was four euros and fifteen cents just for a small bottle of water, and things are quite expensive. It looked to be about eighteen euros for burger and chips. So we've come here, and Lindsay's laid on nice tuna and cheese and fresh bread and soup. So having a bit of lunch before we head back in there. So we found flamingos and turtles. And I've learned something. Video surveillance, because there's video surveillance in this area, is called Uber watching. It looks like the flamingos are feeding the turtles. Cheers, my love. Cheers. So the kids have gone back in the park. It's like half past eight. We came out around about 5.30. We had a bit of dinner and we've chilled and relaxed. It's been quite a day, hasn't it? Oh, Look how tired she is. And wrapped up in a oh. quilt look. But they've gone back in, it's open I think to 11, 11.30, so they're going to get another couple of hours and then come back and they'll probably sleep well tonight. But yeah, I'm catching up with a bit of copying data um, from all the cameras and a bit of video editing. And what are you up to, Linz? I am updating the map on our Roman Radford map. map. If you haven't seen our map, we do do a travel map on the website, romanranfords.com, and we leave little pins um, for everywhere we stay, or sometimes lunch stops and stuff mm. like that. So go on over and have a look, romanranfords.com. But we'll leave you guys there and pick you up again in the morning. Right, good morning. Morning. What a wonderful day it was, celebrating George's birthday at the water park yesterday. I think we managed to give him his perfect day. Right isn't it? He did enjoy mm. it. Went in in the morning for three hours, then we came out for lunch, um, had a couple of hours break, relaxation here, and then went back in for another three hours. Mm -hmm. didn't we? Absolutely, and then the kids went back in again for another <laughs> couple of hours. So yeah, right, they didn't get back out till I think 10, 30, 11 o'clock last mm -hmm. night, so it's good it's open. Um, now it's hard not to compare this water park with others we've been to. Mm -hmm. We do it with campsites as well when we go to campsites, isn't it? It's hard. Mm -hmm. We'll turn up at a campsite, we'll say, oh, this isn't as good as that one we went to. It's hard not to compare. We've really enjoyed this water park, okay? Let's get that out of the way to start with. It's the largest indoor water park in the world, I think. And it is an amazing facility. It's a massive dome. It was built for building airships within right. it. 
um, and it's the biggest self-supporting dome in the world. There so it's go. pretty fantastic. There's pink flamingos in there we saw as we was walking around. Mm. Um, they've got in there which were feeding the turtles, we think. Mm. And there's little birds that are walking around. You even saw a butterfly, didn't you? But oh, there was a big black butterfly as well. Yeah, huge. It's great. Mm. So what did we think of this? Because we've also, and some of you got in the comments, because we've also been to Therma Erdin twice. Yeah. Which is near Munich. Um, and we all thought Therma Erdin was better than this. Yes. Okay. So definitely give Therma Erdin a check if you're in South Germany. We've been there twice and... We think it was way better for the kids, for rides mainly. There's a lot more rides for the kids at Therma Erding slides and stuff. Yeah, Therma Erding is more of a day destination as well. There is an air there. It's yeah. more of a day destination. Inside the dome, there are different villages um, from different parts of the world, tropical villages, tropical world, um, and you can stay in them. They're, they're hotel rooms, basically, mm. aren't they? Mm. So this is more probably more of a longer term destination, although you can get day tickets, but the day tickets are more expensive than Thermo Roding as well. Right. So there you go. Well, we will put a link in the description about this place. Um, there is no services here. Be aware of that, guys. Mm -hmm. Although you can take, I think it's about an eight or ten minute walk to the front uh, and use the toilet in there when it's open, which is between eight in the morning and like midnight. So... Anytime. Or, if you really want for services, you can book in advance and go on the campsite. Right. Because there is a campsite. Which was well. full. We did try and check in the campsite. Fully booked, because it's Easter, isn't it? It's yeah. Easter. Anyway, we're going to get on the road now. Now, it's a long drive home. We're going to stop at a friend's in Castle first. We're going to go out to dinner tonight. And then mm. we're going to head to Calais then tomorrow to catch a Eurotunnel back on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Is what we're going to do. But we've just put a post out on social media. We've just hit 5,000 followers on Facebook. So we've just put a post out on social media um, to ask you if you've got any questions about this trip or traveling in Europe or any questions you want to ask. So we're going to add them onto that video there mm -hmm. um, and hopefully answer some of your burning questions. All right, so we'll see you on the next one, guys. <laughs> Thank you.